Okay, here we are. We have some oil that's coming out of the hydrostatic transmission, and we want to check out what is going on here. Now, right there is the you can see the oil all around here on top, and there's the uh, transmission oil dipstick where you can put the oil back in. But um, right down here is this uh, vent cap, and this is where it appears to be coming out of right now. Now, I have it off a little bit so that that it's a little bit easier to take off, but this is just a plastic, or excuse me, rubber cover. You can kind of see inside there, but there's a little bit of a lip underneath here. And that's where this gadget here will fit in, or this uh, rubber seal, I guess. Now here you have to kind of work it back and forth. Just grab it tight and just work it back and forth, and then finally, and there you go, it comes out. And then that's what it looks like inside there. So anyway, we're getting a lot of, um, it looked like bubbly type of oil coming out of here and it was when it was like about zero degrees Fahrenheit outside and it was like a lot of air in the uh, transmission fluid. So what we're going to do here is we're going to drain it all and we're going to uh, put in a new filter at, obviously, and then use this uh, low viscosity high guard uh, transmission oil. And uh, this is supposed to be better for cold temperatures, so we'll see uh, if this is what resolves our issue here. But it was definitely uh, around zero degrees, and the stuff was just full of air. Uh, the oil was that was bubbling out here. It was kind of a gray and full of air. So, but anyway, the seal here looks still really good, so I don't think it's any problem with this vent cap here. So, um, and then I'm going to show you what you got to do to put this back in. So. All right, um, at first I'm trying to figure out how this went back in, but there's a little bit of a lip, and I'm going to try to, um, I don't know if you can see this or not, I'm going to hook this underneath here, and there it fits in. Then i got to bend this around this other lip over here, just keep working it to get it over there. All right, it took me a little bit of effort to get this underneath but what you got to see is it's got to fit underneath there's a bit of a lip in this uh, rubber cover here that this fits into and then it's pretty tight it's just it'll rotate in here as you can see and then this will just uh, we'll just push it back on back on all right um, and then we're just going to push this back on here line it up on the hole here and then just push down make sure it's down there tight and again, this will pivot, which is good, but it should be down tight and uh, the seal still looks pretty good. So I don't think this is the problem. Uh, this still looks like a good vent. Uh, so, all right, well, that was it. I wanted to share that. And we're going to see what we can do as far as this cold weather uh, oil and see if we can get it to stop leaking. That's it. Thank you for watching.